Tch. It's Pete Sanford's The Revolution will be digitized. Beats by Pete Samples. What's going on, everybody? This is Taryn from the Real Talk Session Series. And today, I have the pleasure of being with two phenomenal women, the woman of shameless artistry. Hi, I'm Tiffany Rice. And I'm Carla Voltaire. Yes, yes. So can you guys just start off and tell us a little bit about your company and how you guys started? At its core, Shameless Artistry provides makeup services to anyone and everyone that comes to us to book. Um, But we also have other interests. And so we're looking forward to putting forth some initiatives and projects that Carla and I have in mind um, just to get a way to give back to the community because we think it's really important. Okay, cool. Um, so what inspired the company and how did you guys even get into the makeup in the first place? Carla could do that one. So what inspired Shameless Artistry is I had great ideas to combine beauty and personal self-care in a way that we can empower women in embracing their natural beauty. So you can follow us on Instagram where we cover topics on self-care Sundays, um, skincare Tuesdays, and we try to cover a lot of like trends. So, okay. <laughs> No, that's definitely dope that you guys are really looking at all these different things and combining it into one because especially right now in society, people are big on mental health and self-awareness and building themselves. So I think it's dope that you're combining makeup artistry and also your works of community service and other stuff too. So that's definitely dope. Exactly. So we touching on, you said you're being inclusive to everything, but usually with the beauty market, it isn't inclusive. Mm -hmm. So like, what are some of your thoughts on the American standards of beauty? Mm, Tiffany, (laughs) I got something to say about this. Um, Two words really come to mind when I think of the American standard of beauty. I first think of toxic Mm -hmm. and I think unrealistic. And I think those two things, because when I when you think about these celebrities using their celebrity to promote different products, lip plumpers, I don't know, whatever, what have you, whatever they, they choose to promote. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of these celebrities have altered themselves in some, some way, shape or form. And that's OK. But they're promoting that as natural. Yeah. And it's not. And that's where the toxicity comes from. And that's where the unrealistic expectations of uh, trying to attain this particular type of beauty. But also beauty standards don't really look like me, Carla or you. Mm-hmm. They really Virgil, look like Virgil. Caucasian. And white people, someone of fair skin. So the American standard of beauty doesn't look like us, but that's what we're here to change the game. And that's dope. And one of the things that I personally believe in is that representation matters. And especially yeah. for all these little girls seeing two black women doing their thing. Mm-hmm. Salute to y'all, for real, for real. Thank yes, you. Yes. So uh, I'm always big on getting people's backstory, how they got to this point and whatnot. So let, let the people know who are your role models. Oh, and makeup for me, I know there are some big names out there like Pat McGrath. She's amazing. She has amazing products. But for me, I would like to say my role models in makeup are definitely the YouTube gurus, the people who kind of like grassroots. They in there, they started off real small and then came up. So I love me some Jackie Ina. Okay. Love, love, love her. Time the infamous. People, but <laughs> Time the infamous. I love her. I love Queen of Blending, Missy Lynn. The, the list really goes on. But those are my role models for makeup. That's dope. What about you, Carla? Well, I have a few, <laughs> um, especially like, you know, when I started, I was always looking at YouTube tutorials and stuff. So I definitely like Makeup Mario, you know? Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. And also... I like Mario Kart. <laughs> you know what I mean? Also, um, Makeup Shayla. Oh, she does so She's that. one of my best, you know, uh, makeup artists on YouTube and Instagram. She's like promoting like brown skin. Yeah. Dark skin. Mm. So as I'm searching for like more dark skin tones and stuff, like it's only makeup Shayla that you know that I glue to for like you know for tips and stuff. So I think that that's also why I wanted Tiffany and I to like you know get in the industry because there's not too many mm-hmm. you know of people like you know promoting like dark skin tones mm-hmm. and, and now there's a lot of like different shades going out, you know, like, you know, yeah. every, after Rihanna came out with Fenty, like mm-hmm. so many like shades. Now a lot of Morphe just came out with 60 shades. It's like yeah. people yeah. weren't doing that before, you know? So, yeah. you know, we just want to embrace all tones and, you know, so. Yeah. And now we got shameless artistry. That's about to take it all over. Yeah, so that's exactly, all that matters, you yeah. know? Um, so one thing that the real talk session series is big on is woman empowerment. So, I always want to give a microphone to all the black women who are going through stuff because society really 
drags y'all through the mud. So if you could say one thing to men and then one thing to society as a whole, what would that be? Mm, Tiff, you want to start yeah. this off? It looks like you both got some fire. So, yeah. you know, you know, you know. Um, <laughs> I will say, because it's a triggering. One thing I would say to men and to society is simple. Do better. It's not hard to do better. Mm. Um, and I even think about that. And, and I don't want to get too deep into politics. But right now we're in living in the longest government shutdown in yep. history. Yeah. History. And men are in charge. And they need to do better. We have politicians mm-hmm. that we voted to be in office and they choose to look the other way yep. for us, the little people. So my advice to, to them is to really just to do better and be better. And that's for any facet of life. Be better. Be a better father. Be a better mother. Be a better friend. Be a better cousin. Just be better. Okay. Fellas, I'm having these ladies on the, the, the interviews <laughs> to help y'all out. Y'all say that women don't talk. <laughs> They talking talking. right now. We talking. We talking. So I got you. You know, it's not going to be bashing all the time. I got you. Because I used to be a little, you know, but it's it's different now, you know. Let me me know if you want to know the details. No, you know, (laughs) they they helped shape me into a better man I am today. Shout out to my fiance. Hey, 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 babe. Hey, babe. But uh, lastly, um, why should people come to Shameless Artistry? What makes you guys different? So what sets Shameless Artistry apart is just the meaning behind Shameless itself. You know, it's about just um, embracing your natural beauty. And I also feel like there's a lot of women battling with their own insecurities. And realistically, we all have flaws that we should be shameless about, you know? No pun intended. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, but we, we, we plugging them anyway. So shameless yeah, plugs, all yeah, that yeah, stuff. Shameless puns, plug, all that. shameless plug. We just plugging it. Exactly. So ladies, thank you so much for joining yes. us. Can you please let the people know where to find shameless artistry at absolutely you can find us on instagram at shameless artistry and you can also email us at shameless artistry at gmail.com again thank you ladies real talk session series the revolution will be digitized The revolution will be digitized.